Well, hi everyone and welcome to Fundraising 101, uh, topic number two of session two, alumni. This is topic is going to be shorter than the rest, but it's still critical for your fundraising efforts. During this topic, we will cover what is an alumni, why are they important for your fundraising efforts, and how to go about setting up an alumni program. So what is an alumni? An alumni is typically thought of as an individual who has graduated or participated in some sort of group, program, class, etc. The alumni are normally only thought of as those who have graduated from one of the above lists in a college setting. I invite you to broaden your thinking. An alumni might be someone who has worked or volunteered at your ministry, or someone who has participated in a ministry with programs, events, groups, etc. An alumni might be someone who is involved with whatever ministry you lead or the organization you are a part of in a way that had a specific starting and ending time. For example, a camper, a staff member, a volunteer, even an event participant. Okay, so why are alumni so important for your fundraising effort? First, alumni are individuals with the strongest emotional and personal connection to you or your organization. They have been personally impacted by the ministry, program, group, etc. They have been invested in, and naturally they want to invest back into those who have first invested in them. They not only can imagine what you are talking about in your appeals, they experienced it firsthand. Thus, oftentimes alumni are some of your most generous and highest potential givers out of all your other donors. Not only are alumni your top potential generous givers, they also have one of the highest lifetime giving potentials. What I mean by this is that their donations collectively added up over the, their years will likely amount to more than many of your other donors will. This is not only due to their generosity, but the amount of years that they have an opportunity to give. You can begin to cultivate and solicit your alumni at a much younger age or at an earlier stage in life than most of your other donors. Well, you actually have jump-started the cultivation process because of their pre-existing strong relationships with you and your organization. Thus, alumni have a longer opportunity to give. Well, congrats, you've made it through topic two. But before you go on to topic three, I would like to just take a little bit of time to show you how I have gone about setting up an alumni relationship. Well, here we have an alumni program that I very quickly created. It's very simple and but very effective for the ministry that I've served with. It's a multi-pronged and cohesive information gathering system that helps us minister and engage our alumni in a way that cultivates our alumni into actively involved supporters of Camp Sanknack. Very wordy, I know. Let's break it down a little bit. So why? It is to continue to minister to those we have had an impact on in the past and to cultivate our alumni into faithful and actively involved supporters of Camp St. Connect through prayer, finances, and time. Again, because alumni have a greater lifetime potential of giving, and alumni are some of the top potential givers because they have some of the strongest emotional connections to our camp. So we broke this down into two stages. Our first stage has uh, three ways of gathering information through our website, through social media, and also through mailings. The goal of each one of these is to drive them to our contact form where we can get their contact information, which will then go into our alumni database. At stage two, we break it down a little farther. Here we have our web page, social media, mailings, our contact form, which now has their contact information in our alumni database. We can then, through our alumni database and also segmenting it and syncing it with our other databases, uh, post relevant announcements, information, opportunities, events, appeals, um, and through these opportunities, they will have chances to become our volunteers, our donors, or other supporters of Camp Sanknack. Here's a little chart that shows the process. Before stage one, they're uncultivated Camp Sanknack alumni. We may have not reached out to them in the past. We may have reached out to them, but not in a way that really connects with them as alumni. At stage two, they're cultivated in our new alumni database. And at stage three, they're fully cultivated. Not only are they alumni in our databases, but now they've gone into our donor databases, our volunteers. Um, so they're really being able to connect with camp in a way that suits them and their personality best. So let's take a look at this um, in action. 
So here we are at Word of Life Bible Institute's alumni page. I'm actually Word of Life alumni, so I'm kind of uh, on the front end of this alumni program. Here on their webpage, you see alumni, um, where you can it's easily visible at the top of their webpage. They have relevant alumni events posted at the top of their webpage. They have a way to stay connected here. They have their social media Facebook group and also their version of the contact form. And then the cool part about this is they actually have opportunities to donate right on their web page. Um, and again, in ways that are relevant to them as alumni. They have interesting transcripts here. They're already past stage two. They have their own magazine that goes out for their alumni. And again, I really like this. A very easy way for alumni to give at the bottom of their page. You can also request more information or schedule a visit. So I hope this uh, time has been helpful for you, not only to understand what alumni is and why they're important, but also to give you an idea of how you can start uh, building relationships with your alumni and turning them from uncultivated alumni into active supporters of your ministry or your organization. All right, I'll see you next time on Topic 3.